Hi guys, I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 10. So it's going to be talking about Beta. What is Beta's next move with this herd after episode 14? It just gives you a lot of idea of what is Beta's next move. So yeah, spoiler if you're not caught up with The Walking Dead TV show or if you have not read the comments, you spoiler this ahead because I'm going to refer to the comic and the TV show of beta so yeah um the big question is what is next for beta's character after episode 14 with him really pretty much changing himself like he uses half of alpha's face as a mask and he just blended in to make a big massive herd that Pretty much you see in the teaser for episode 15 that he is coming through Alexander and possibly going through to find where our people is at. So yeah, the that is, what is his next move? In the comics, he does the same thing with after Alpha's death, he just went, loses it. He just released her to Alexander. And then he had like a couple of issues. He had like a pity death. I really didn't like how... In the comics of Beta story arc, per se, there were some really good moments of it, but I just didn't like how it ended with his character and stuff. And I think they could have brought a lot more of his character in the comics and have him a really good death. And I think they will have that likely in the TV show with him having a really good death, but Ryan Harris does play as plays Beta. He's done a wonderful job with him. I see Beta as a Michael Myers slash JC Vo Jason Voorhees character. Like, you can see the really creep factor. He did, like, he's killing it. I'm really, with the remakes of it, and it just makes you wonder what his next movie is, what's Beta want to do next and stuff. And then you can see it in episode 14. He's pretty much not taking it well with Alpha's death. He's like, there ain't going to be an alpha. Like, he's going to be the beta. He's going to honor an alpha. And you've just seen it with him putting her down, using her set, like, use her skin to make him as a new mass and to combine alpha and beta as one. And I think that's what I see as going forward with beta's character that... He's honored Alpha. He's doing what she would have done, but she he's not the Alpha. He's still the Beta, but he's combined of her tactic to be as a leader, and he's just he's lost it. That's the only thing that I guess for the last so many years that him and Alpha's been together, he's really been like. They've been co combined as a friendship or whatever you want to call it. And he's just lost the only thing he's got. And he really just wants to take out on everybody. And I think I si we'll see that in probably in episode 15 and possible whenever 16 is. But I see B Beta probably maybe living on to season 11. He might get killed off in the finale or... He could be a good death in season 11. I don't know. But, yeah, I see him, well, going with the path of taking out so many people from Alexander and taking his revenge on out on them, and especially to Negan because of him, Negan killing Alpha. And I love to see the moment between Dene uh, Beta versus Negan and maybe with the twist of Daryl. I don't know. It'd be very interesting to see how they play out uh, throughout the last, well, 15. And then whenever 16 comes out and then throughout 11 just depends on if he survives them. And I think he could play out as a really good villain after Alpha's death, if they play their cards right with Beta's character. So, yeah, I want to hear your guys' feedback, what you think about it, in the description below. And also, if you're new to my channel, uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell. There will be some couple videos coming up 
throughout the break after this and stuff of talking about different topics of beta and the walking dead and other stuff like that so stay tuned with that and i'll check you guys out in my next video